Jesus said, who do men say that I, the son of man, am? The man called Beardon Father Evil is an amazing man. How come it is you that she has mentioned? Say, so you are this, you are this, you are this, you are that. Say, so who do you say that I am? I was in a school where people were really, really bad. This person can't do anything. Right. There's a way to raise children. There's a way to run your marriage. There's a way to run your finance. There's a way you should go. You're sleeping I mean, with other people's wives? In a law in Kwara state. Yes, Illawi is a small town yeah. and then it was more like everybody knew everyone. And the Lord told me, your church will be the most beautiful. And I was in a shock. Since that happened to me, yeah. it was just like my life just Turn. turned around. And I remember praying to God severally. Lord, let me just hear something that will help me to change. Within yourself, you know that you now understand you more than any other person because you know what both of you do together. You know what you do together. You know before administration, when she minister finished, you know what happened. So, Tega was experiencing pregnancy difficulties. Now, according to what the niggas themselves said, rather, um, um, the, the, the Nicholas and the rest, they said, because they now try to make it look like Tega herself is the reason why she died. Because she was, you know, feeling all of this, but because she is very energetic and very, very on the fire for the Lord, and then she was still going to programs with them because they were now saying that they advised her to rest. You will never force. I mean, Vicky is also pregnant, yeah. as Tega was, and we'll never force anyone to do what they wouldn't want to do. We are members of the team together. Yeah. In fact, we wouldn't insist that, look, you guys must rest, you must rest, you must rest, because we understand the, the stress that their bodies are going through. Yeah. You know, so for anyone to think that we put our own under undue stress to travel with us, to go for events, go and minister with us, is not true. It's, it's not, not true. true. If anything, we told her to rest yes. or, you know, take much needed medical care, whatever she needed. So going on right here, she now said here, um, they spent, okay, spent the entire holiday in the hospital bed so when she was in hospital of course the group members themselves would know because <laughs> george Biko, relax 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 tega spent the entire holidays in the hospital now we don't know the time frame of course but she had gone for programs like you can see the flyers right here on your screen um even doing the christmas and all of those kind of things okay so let's go on but no visit from anyone no visit from anyone how did nena herself know that no one visited her because the husband herself posted a picture of her sitting lying in the hospital while they were looking at the ultrasound of the kid right here as you can see here on the video so what does it mean or maybe these pictures were taken before she had complications with her with her health but we'll get to the husband very soon as we go on okay let me not jump this thing too far but no visit from anyone all stanley Oseji could say is so how far so how far with the house when are you moving out what's going to happen what, what what's going to happen to service now that you are uh, that you are the service coordinator and you are in the hospital that shows no care but how did nena herself get this particular information does she have access to her phone or was tega speaking to her or something friends you know girls now they always yan yan everything tega bled throughout one of the trips are you kidding me oh my god but she was still mandated to travel she was mandated to travel but those niggas they were saying that they were telling her to rest but she was someone that was eager and you know went on fire for the lord but she wanted to be part of what is going on you see of course you cannot control her will she has to decide the path she wants to follow with her life tega was going to leave this month after your so-called 12 days of glory but not after calling a meeting and giving you a piece of her mind for some reason something usually happens to the people who have either so left i'm right here in the kitchen and i just got to find out that instablog had censored this part of what nena herself had posted which more of like you know affects my analysis because if you know already i follow like insta blog gossip meal and a couple of other blogs in nigeria to know what is happening as i get to analyze what's up there so this is a very important detail that insta blog actually censored which is what 
Nena herself wrote specifically to um, the pastor of Koza, Pastor Christ, as we know. Now, what she said here indicates the fact that apparently she and the pastor must have been in some kind of relationship because for her to say the things she has said here that she knows every part of him, I'm going to be reading it for you to know in case you don't know, it shows to a great extent that what if the pastor himself was banging her while she had served her at least from what I know for the period of 10 years. So the, the guys you see right now who were making the confession and all that have been with Koza for about five years but she herself has been longer than any of them and she was once their leader. So this is what she said. She said here, Bowden Fato Yibo is right here. I know, I, you know I know you. I know the way, I know you way more than you think. You think, I know you way more than you think I do. I have seen every single thing that needs to be seen about you. Now that is beginning to make sense. I'm aware of your cowardice and low self-esteem. You cover it so much by oppressing and subjecting everyone around you. But alas, I know you. Then addressing um, the wife also, she said, I know you too very much indeed. As empty-headed as you are, screaming like, hey, hey, banshee, oh, Jesus, may I better. You, how pathetic you are that you would rather try to hold on to me because of the results I brought, even though you were fully aware that your community penis of a husband fancied the hell out of me. Interesting. You don't have the spirit of God. For so long, you have both gotten away with evil since your alluring days. Now, this would take you back to the Dakulus. I've heard some of your stories from Tayo, Fatogun, and Wale, Soitan, <laughs> your supposed oh pastor. Slowly but surely, your armor is breaking. Your fa <laughs> God of mercy. And people are beginning to see the ugliness that is in you both. The world will know you for who you really are. Oh my God. You may suppress the truth for a while, but it can never be suppressed forever. So this is a part that um. Insta blog then continued further to say Tega was going to leave for months. So why would Insta blog censor this part of the, you know, the post? That just to show you something. You see, even though I follow Insta blog, I follow all these blogs. The blogs themselves are there for business. Uh, uh, Solomon has been trending for a while now, and I'm not posted about it. And let me tell you something in case you don't know. See, most of these pastors, yeah, how they work is that. Um, the way they get to get the blogs to work for them, buy them is much such that, such that they patronize them. You know, they pay them huge sums of money to post most of their videos. Not as if these blogs just go out there, look for a video of a pastor on, on YouTube or whatever and post. Sometimes these pastors pay them to maybe promote a particular post or a particular sermon they have preached on their blogs because they know that many Nigerians are following them. So imagine, just imagine yourself right now that you're running a blog and then the pastor um, a pastor that you have as a regular customer usually comes to you know um, pay you money to promote their video or something when something that that is not doesn't make them look good happens or whatever even though you might post it or not you wouldn't want to put them in a bad light some way somehow so what would happen is such that um, of course maybe in this particular case Linda posted a couple of other blog posted it so if you don't post it, it's gonna be somehow but for them to censor this part and remove it from their post about the situation it's a little bit fishy just like how we have been talking about Suleiman recently and insta blog has not carried it or maybe a couple of other blogs it should tell you that maybe there's something really going on undercover or whatever but however the case may be getting to know this myself right now from searching the internet and knowing that oh she actually said this thing extra to to show you that you know it was actually censored that that particular part was censored but for you to actually be a blogger for you to be doing blogging as it is if you are posting just post everything on you know like for me if i'm analyzing something i analyze everything on this part or on this part i don't care who who i offend or who i impress because i'm doing my job the way i see it how to do i won't censor some things because oh this one doesn't make no, no no i don't take sides i just go straight to the point and hit it so this particular case right now makes me even understand this whole situation better because for her to come out note that this, this girl is actually a lawyer like trained lawyer even though she's was in the church there singing for them and singing was more of like you know a job and he, like he heard those people themselves saying that she had an official car or something but for her to have an official car work there for at least up to 10 years or something 
it should make sense to you that she must have had a good relationship with this pastor pastor christ and then for her to say that she has seen everything in him that needs to be seen maybe the pastor don't lack up join you understand so of course for her to even mention the whole going back to 2019 days I don't know if you are getting the point. So just want, I just want you to have an open mind about this because that particular pastor you see right there and like the rest of them that I've talked about before or something, they have skeletons in their cupboard. Just that some of them, the skeleton they have in their cupboard, you don't see. And the, you know, there's a way you can have skeleton that the skeleton is, is, is old. But this one, some of the skeletons are very fresh. You understand? So every day there are, there are new skeletons that are fresh. You get like I said, I don't know if you are getting the point of what I'm saying. So that... Too many hidden things that are still fresh if it's not something that is old that okay let the bygone be bygone but there are still skeletons that are fresh so you just left for you to just have a rethink about this and just ask yourself are you following the man that you claim is of god are you following god who is the reason why that man is who he is that is either man is who he is because of god because most of them are established businesses that are run just for the sole purpose of you know adding more money to their coffers or you know making more money or whatever so be wise take your brain to church don't suspend your brain when you are in church more insiders are going to come out this year with implicating informations about the dear men of god or would i say their purpose so whatever is going to happen this year keep your eyes open just stay alert because you would know this year whether those you are following are who they really tell you they are 